this community is really good at responding to people that are in need. When the Oklahoma City bombing happened, you know, it was just uh, one big joint effort, and we came through it. By this time, Toby had the resources that he flew instantly back to Oklahoma City to do whatever he could as far as any kind of relief effort. He put together a little show, whatever he could to raise money. I think Toby has done things because he can give back to the community, and because of who he is, he can make it very successful. There's no worth in it unless you give back, and he's gonna do that. I know a lot of people do that just because it looks good on your resume, but he really cares about people, and personally, he's helped me a lot in my own life. I had a daughter that was diagnosed with cancer when she was two years old. When she was playing, I noticed a little knot on her belly and so the next day I took her to her pediatrician and she decided to have an ultrasound and within, within 24 hours we knew that she had tumors on both kidneys and that we were in for a really tough situation. So, um, Allison was really sedated and uh, she was on morphine and we were bringing her home and we pulled into the driveway of our house and uh, Scott leaned over and he said, Allie, do you know where we are? And she opened her eyes, she said, we're at Allie's house. She was so happy to be home. When she passed away, Toby said, I don't know if this is the time or the place, but I want to start a charity to benefit families of children's cancer, and I want to call it Allie's house. A lot of medications that are too expensive for families without insurance, he makes sure through this foundation that they have these meds that they need. Toby's a very compassionate person. He, uh, he's compassionate with Allie's house, obviously, but he and his wife are very, very supportive of the community events going on here. Oklahomans are very resilient, and they, uh, uh, you know, you hear it all the time, but they really uh, come together and help one another when, when, when they need the help. He did all the stuff that, as an Okie, you're supposed to do. Uh, you ready? A two, three, one, four. <laughs> My grandmother owned a nightclub on the Arkansas Oklahoma line. Mama put me on a greyhound and I went to stay with her in the summertime. I box up those empty long necks and stack them in the back and make a hand. Any night she'd let me sneak out of the kitchen. With the band. Everybody thinks there's this big mystical reason why I stay here. It's very simple. This is home to me. I'm very comfortable here. I know my way around. I don't have to look at street signs. I know where everything is. I've been in Nashville a lot. Nashville would have been the obvious place to have moved to. But I still get lost there so easy that it's just not ever going to be home to me. Nashville's not home. This is home. More is home. Yes, I have Saxon quarterbacks that broke my share of bones along the way. I knew it wouldn't last forever. Semi-pro always means semi-pay. I started climbing, drilling rigs. I'm all feel trash and proud as I can be. Till I took my song and guitar and sang on to a man from Tennessee. The industry's not here, and it gives him a chance to be probably apart from the industry, so that whenever he goes out to do industry stuff, he is going away from home to do it, and, and he doesn't bring it back in his home backyard. I played every beer joint tavern from New York City out to Pasadena. Every corn dog fair and rodeo and sold out every basketball arena. We can go to Pittsburgh and sell 26,000 tickets and there's an urgency to see us. If you don't see me here, just go to an OU basketball game or go to an OU baseball game. Like to get down with my boys in Afghanistan and Baghdad City too. That's right. Son, I'm a red, white, and blue. It's coming home. It's no different than with anybody else. You go home for Thanksgiving, you feel warmer at that house with your family and more secure than you do anywhere else. And I don't think that's any different with him. When you look at Toby Moore in Oklahoma and his raising is what you see, that's what's made him. 
it's hard to think any other way other than Oklahoma's Toby and Toby's Oklahoma. That's right, a red, white, and blue blood graduate with a honky-tonk you. Collaborate and listen. Ice is back with my brand new invention. Something grabs a hold of me tightly. Fool like a heartbeat, daily and nightly. Will it ever stop? Yo, I don't know. Turn off the lights and I'll go to the stream. I rock a mic like a vandal. Light up a stage and watch it jump like a candle. I'm just showing, showing the urban boys out there, the country boy and rap a little bit, but Ice ain't the guy you want to rap. <laughs> Stacked up right there. Those are tomato cages. And they had a contest up in Moore after the fair or something up there. And they said, uh, they showed the winning picture of the biggest tomato. And uh, I was in town with my dad and he said, he said, I've got bigger tomatoes than that at my house. And they said, one you in and one of them in the contest. He goes, because you got to slice mine and get them out of the cage. <laughs> he was serious about his tomatoes.